me just run this code at least. Let's see what lit code says, okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. It is accepted, but this is wrong. Okay. Hey guys, Sandeep here. Welcome to interview dose. Today I have taken a easy problem from lit code, minimum depth of a binary tree. So given a binary tree, find its minimum depth. Minimum depth is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root to its leaf node. From the root node down to the nearest leaf node. Before we solve this problem, let's go and uh, solve another problem in a similar line, which is maximum depth of binary tree. Okay, so which is nothing but our height of the tree, right? So maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. Okay, so that's the only difference, right? Okay, to solve this problem, we can traverse the tree in any order, like pre order, in order, or post order, which all fall into the DFS category, right? And we can count the depth of each subtree and whichever is maximum, we will return that, right? Let's do that quickly. If root equal to equal to null, then return zero. So this is the base case. Now, int max left equal to 1 plus 1 is for the current node max depth root left. Here we have calculated the max depth of the left subtree. Now, int max right equal to 1 plus max depth of the right subtree, right? So, we will pass right node. Good. Now we have to return the max of the max left and the max right, right? So return math dot max max left and max right. Right? Yeah, this is good. We can even remove this one plus from here and one plus from here, and finally we can do this like this right okay let's run this code cool now submit nice okay so we'll take this idea and we'll solve the minimum depth of a binary tree let me copy this code and put it here and now i'll change this uh, uh, max depth to min depth min depth this should be min left this should be min right so min left is min depth of left subtree min right is min depth of right subtree and finally return the math dot mean of min left and the mean right okay good now let me ask you is this correct seem to be correct right this is wrong usually candidates do this mistake they think that minimum depth is very similar to max depth and without thinking much they just try this code okay and this is wrong okay why think about a skewed tree so think about the situation when only one side of the tree is filled think about the situation when the binary tree has only left child so it will be like this like only left side okay and uh, there could be a situation when the binary tree has only the right side okay in that case the minimum depth if we will write this way then it will return one because math of mean of zero and something is zero right so that's wrong we must have to handle that scenario okay let's do that quickly so if mean left equal to zero or mean right equal to 0 which is the skewed tree right so in this case we will return the max of the mean left and the mean right okay so that's what we have to do here return 1 plus math dot max mean left and mean right yeah we are good to run this now let's submit this Cool. Yeah, in this session we saw that even though the problem looks similar, it is not the exact problem that we are solving. So take a pause. 
So, think about the edge cases well before you write the code or submit the code. That's all for now. See you next time.